Hello and welcome back to Incredible Inverts and other animals with me, Phil. Now today's video, we're going to take a look at two species of cockroach that are very similar to each other. They're actually in the same genus. These are my two species of headlight cockroach. So let's go ahead and take a look. Okay, so here we have uh, the first of my two colonies, uh, which are two different species of headlight or glow light cockroaches. Uh, this particular one is Lucy Hormetica varicosa. Uh, so you could say it's called, you know, it could be called the warty um, headlight cockroach. Um, that's what uh, varicosa basically means. Um, some people call it the brown winged, and this will come uh, obvious when you see the other species. Um, now, hopefully, you can see why these are commonly called headlight or glow light. Um, the males of the species have these bright orange dots on their protonym. Uh, so their, their head shield, if you like. So, uh, as adult females uh, do not, and there is actually currently on the right hand side where there's a male, there's a female next to him, and you can tell she's a female and adult. She doesn't have those bright orange spots, and she's also currently producing an oophica or egg case, um, which she'll then actually hatch out inside herself. So they are ovoviviparous. So, um, so you can see a bit of a closer look there of the uh, the egg case oophica pointing out of her. Now it is said um, that these guys in the wild, along with the other species I've got, um, when they're adult, the males that potentially they eat a certain type of fungus or something, maybe some bacteria or whatever, that makes their those sort of head spots glow in the dark. Um, there's not a huge amount necessarily of actual evidence for this. It's, uh, it does seem to be more kind of hearsay in a way, and um, these guys, so mine, do not glow. In captivity so um but you do find actually uh, if you feed them on carrots they'll actually get a lot of car carotenoids in their diet and they'll make those uh, those spots much more sort of dark orange uh, to almost red sometimes uh, so these guys do get fed a lot of carrot so now uh, they are known to venezuela and colombia now these are absolutely fantastic um Sort of group of cockroaches to to keep they're relatively simple to keep um give them, give them like most others a bit like hisses if you like if you can keep hissing cockroaches you can keep these guys uh, as far as i'm i'm concerned so i keep it yeah very very similar they can climb up smooth surfaces so i put um a strip of vaseline and um, just around the top edge of the container that they're in give them a nice deep substrate um this is of organic compost you can add leaf litter in here as well. Um, I need to get some more leaf litter because I've cleared it all. So, and they they breed. They uh, they're not necessarily fast growing species. They uh, do take a while, but the, you know even the nymphs are actually quite pretty looking as well with sort of little uh, sort of yellow to orangey heads on them. And the nymphs get quite quite big, but as you can see, they're not a particularly fast species, which is nice. So this is my second species, second colony of headlight cockroaches. This is Lucy Hormetica. A subsincta, so, uh, sometimes called white winged headlight cockroach. Um, which, when you see them, hopefully, I'll be quite over there. So, yep, they got sort of whitish wings. So, both species have uh, vestigial wings, so they don't, you know, they don't cover the, the abdomen at all, really. Um, they're kind of just there for, for display, especially with this species. Um, so otherwise, they're fairly similar. These guys are, I find a little bit smaller than the varicosa. So, um, and in some ways, you know, perhaps a bit more training colour with the the white whitish wings, the white sort of band around the abdomen. So, basically, the males still get those bright orangey, uh, sometimes yellow in this species, uh, sort of headlights or you know glow spots. So, um, but again, you know, keep them exactly the same as as the other guys. Um, really, not much difference uh, between the species. Apart from size and a little bit of the, the appearance, both are absolutely beautiful species. Um, I believe there is a third one, but I'm, a third species, but I'm, I'm not sure on the name of that one. I haven't come across it, but I've seen a few uh, mentions of there being a third uh, species of headlight. Um, perhaps if I ever see, see that, I might end up with a third species. But yeah, if you see these guys, I'm, available in time i do sometimes have these guys available because they do breed fairly well they take a while to get going and to build your colonies up uh, but once they're going they're, they're going i've always got nymphs of them all, all the time now 
um, especially with the varicose. They, they, I find they breathe a little bit quicker um, than the subsinctor. So I've been keeping these species now for many, many years. Um, yeah, I really just I like these guys. I've had the subsinctor longer, so but their colony is not quite as big as uh, as my varicosa. And I do find these guys hide up a little bit more uh, than the varicosa as well. But that is my headlight cockroaches. Okay, so they were my headlight cockroaches. What do you guys think? Again, personally, I absolutely love both of these species. They're both absolutely beautiful uh, to me. Uh, yeah, the males are absolutely stunning. So, but what do you guys think? Let me know down in the comments. If you like this video, do give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't yet, please do consider subscribing to the channel and hit that bell for notifications so you know next time I upload another video. But until next time, guys, take care, stay safe, and keep rocking.